Hi, I wanted to do a comparison video for you for two quite classic bags that I have in my bag collection. So I've got the Louis Vuitton MM, which is the medium, as our Neverfull tote. And this is the Mulberry Heritage Bayswater in the classic oak NVT leather. They are both really nice bags. I do find that they're both about the same age, they're both seven years old. I find that the Louis Vuitton is starting to sag and lose its structure a bit more. The Mulberry Bayswater is still keeping its structure, but how much of that is because I do wear the Neverfull a lot more than the Mulberry, I'm not quite sure. These are both quite similar size bags, so I'll show you some side-by-side -side comparisons. This is what the Neverfull and the Bayswater look like. You can see the handle drop on the Neverfull is a lot longer than it is on the Bayswater. Not that the base order has a particularly short handle drop, it's just the Neverfull's a lot more generous. You can see the width-wise as well, so this is where the Mulberry starts to look a little bit bigger because it's got a bit more width, and if you look at the base as well, you'll see that the base of the Neverfull is a lot shorter than it is on the base water. The Neverfull does of course flare out at the sides a bit too. This is what the Louis Vuitton MM Neverfull and the Mulberry Heritage Base Water look like when they're worn side by side. So you can see they're quite similar shapes. The Base Water is of course a bit bigger and hangs a lot lower than the Mulberry Base Water does. In terms of contents, the bags both hold about the same. I don't put any more in one over the other. The Mulberry does have inside, it has these little leather pockets as well as a zipper pocket. Whereas with the Neverfull, you just have that one main zipper pocket. So my phone easily transfers across. Uh, lip balm. Car keys, they fit inside really well too. And then everything else that I usually carry. So my wallet, that goes in here. My little pouch, if I'm using the bag for work, it's got things like my bus pass, um, my work ID, security stuff. Uh, sunglasses, they fit in really easily too. And then of course, my big pouch of everything else. So, like the Neverfull, the Mulberry fits it all. They both carry about the same. The one consideration that I have is the Louis Vuitton Vachetta is something that you need to take care of in the rain. You can see I've got some watermarks on it. Um, I did a wear and tear video for that that I'll link above. The Mulberry, because it's the vegetable tanned leather, I am worried about watermarks on this. It doesn't actually have any watermarks on the outside, but you can see some on the inside. So this is the inside. You can see just down in the bottom there, there's a little bit of water residue. I think it's just from condensation from my water bottle. Both bags have the ability to cinch and pull in the sides, so you can do that inside the mulberry here. I don't really mess with that all that much. Um, it's a little bit easier on the Neverfull because it's on the outside. And this is a way that you can make the Neverfull more secure, so you can pull the sides in so that the top opening is less. And then you can also clip across so that it's kind of sort of secure. You do still have a gap there though. Whereas with the Bayswater, you can actually put the flap over and then when you lock that turn lock closure there, no one's going to be able to get into that bag. So if it's a security thing, definitely go with the Mulberry. In terms of use, I did mention before that I use the Neverfull a lot more than the Mulberry. They're both bags that I try and avoid going outside in the rain with, but I find that the Neverfull works more as an everyday bag. So I love the Mulberry for work, but it feels a little bit too structured for me for everyday use. I usually prefer something a little bit uh, less formal looking, a bit less structured. I also do take my never to fall to the beach. I would absolutely never in a hundred years take this mulberry bag that close to water. Again, I'm terrified of getting watermarks on this bag. It's really nice, very thick leather. Obviously you're getting a lot more leather with the mulberry than you do with the Neverfull. It just comes down to personal preference. They both work perfectly for work. They both hold about the same amount. The Neverfull is of course lighter, the mulberry bag being heavier, again, because it's more leather. This holds its shape more, it's a lot more formal and structured, whereas this, as you can see, is sagging nicely after seven years and it's starting to look really floppy. 
I hope you enjoyed the review of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and the Mulberry Heritage Bayswater. If you do have any questions, you can just leave them in a comment down below. If you do have both these bags, I'm curious to see what your favourite is as well. Um, if you did like this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do that. You can hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already and you can follow along. I upload a new video every week. And thank you very much for watching. Again.